that. <laughs> yeah, perfect, sir. If you stand there, smile. Good. Madam, follow me, please. If you stand there and smile. Good. This is Juliet Capulet from the Capulet family. And this is Romeo Montague from the Montague family. The Montagues hate the Capulets. Now, they talk passionate love, and they dance, and they kiss, and it is not until the end of the night they realise the Oba is their family's hating enemy. <gasps> but they do not feel like hating enemies. After the party, Romeo goes to Juliet's window, and he says, But so, one night we turn their window breaks. Yes. Now Juliet can hear Romeo, but she cannot see him. So Juliet says, They talk passionate love, and at the end of the night, when Juliet's mother calls, Oh, Juliet! Romeo says, Will you make me so nice and so I'm satisfied? <laughs> when Juliet's father learns of the affair, he is very angry. Hang me, your money, disobedient wretch! But Juliet has a plan. She wants to be with Romeo, so she pretends to take poison. So she appears to be dead. <laughs> when Romeo sees Juliet's body on the floor, he is so sad, he takes real poison and kills himself. Please to me, Lord, those who is a kiss I like. <laughs> Juliet wakes up. She sees Romeo's body on the floor and she takes a dagger and kills herself. Oh, happy day. This is the beast cell. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and so is the story of Romeo and Juliet. They fell in love and then they died. Never was a story of more than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Cambridge, blah, 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 school, I think. 
Well, wait. They are from somewhere in Spain. Aren't you Spanish? What are they doing here now? There was a confusion about the time of the show and they arrived late. Bob, you are called Roberta, yes? Yes! Because you are Spanish, yes? I was born in Spain, I have a Spanish passport, yeah. You talk to them then, Bob, because they don't understand it. <laughs> but Harry, I don't speak Spanish. What? I don't speak Spanish. You just said that you were Spanish. Yes, I am. Masters, really? <laughs> really? I am as British as you. No, Bob. What? But no, no, I am real British what? with a British passport. Your passport says that you are Spanish. Oh. What? Ever, Harry? The point is, what are these people doing here now? And can I have another 30 minutes to put my documentation into immigration? As I have already said, there has been a confusion. Yes! A mix up. Yes! A big mistake. Obviously! Somebody didn't coordinate with this school and they arrived late. Yes, obviously! The boss or the general. Obviously, Bob, yes, obviously. Just a minute! Mm. Are you suggesting I'm responsible for this? But I don't coordinate with schools, Bob. It's not my responsibility. Well, Harry, oh. I don't coordinate with schools. Mistake, Bob, and it wasn't me. <laughs> Number 10,435. 10,435? That is a lot of people wanting a British passport. Another 10,000 people given a British passport or residence permit here in Britain today. Here, on this very beautiful, but very small little island. There's no more space for another 10,000 people. <coughs> Listen, the, the problem is that in the European Union, everybody is free to move. Everybody is free to come and live here and use our hospitals, our services. Free, free, free. No, no, my grandfather, did not fight Germany in the Second World War for everybody to be free. Oh, hi, my name's Bob. Um, listen, have you seen my ticket? I had it here. Where? Where? Oh, thank you. And my phone. This is so important. I've got time. Hi, my name's Bob. Well, actually, my real name's Roberta. But here, in Britain, everyone calls me Bob. They say it's easier, it's more British. You see, I am Spanish, but I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I went to school here, university, masters. All my friends are from here, my family. I work hard and I pay all my taxes, but I'm just a second class citizen. And now, here we are on Friday, the 29th of March, 2019, Brexit day. And I, I really need to get my British passport before 12 o'clock tonight. Or I will always be a second class citizen. But do you know why I have such a big problem today, Harry? No. Because people like you voted for Brexit. Brexit, the separation of the United Kingdom from Europe. Because you want free trade with the world. Because you don't want to pay European membership. Because you don't want immigrants like me coming here to your beautiful little island and making it everything European. No, 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 you need to calm down. Spanish waiters, are you done with that, sir? Yes, I'm Polish builders, 
No. Uh, yes, I am, but only on Facebook. That's fine. Can you program? 
Yes, he can. Fantastic. Can you drive? Yes, I do have a car as well. Brilliant. What type of car do you have? It's just a Ford Focus, a small one. Okay, well perfect for London then. And can you speak any languages? Yeah, I do speak Spanish, Italian and English. Amazing. Well, I want you to come here for an interview in London. Is that alright? Yeah, that would be lovely. Okay, if you do get the job, we will organise permanent residence for you here in the UK. So, I'll see you in London on Friday the 29th of March 2019. <coughs> Remember, we're Gold Bloom Associates and we're located on Oxford Street, okay? Okay, sounds good. I'll send you all the details by WhatsApp. Goodbye, Pepe. Bye-bye, see you. Hey, come on, Pepe! Meanwhile, in Greece, Nico is working in his father's restaurant. Nico, ladies and gentlemen! The economic crisis in Greece is very bad. Nico is desperate to live and find a new life somewhere else in Europe. He's a very good rap artist. Yo. Yo, yo. And he wants to be famous. Okay, Nico. <clears throat> hip, hip, hop, hop. Hip, hop, hip, hop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hip, hop, 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 don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. in his father's restaurant to make some money to pay for his journey. Today he thinks he, was, he has enough money and a man comes into a restaurant to talk to, to, talk to Nico. Hey, Nico, you want to be famous, yeah? Yeah. Well, I can make you famous. Oh, really? I can take you to London where you can record your songs in my friend's recording studio. He will get you concerts in the biggest and best places in the city and he will make you a millionaire, okay? okay. The man says it will only cost 1,000 heroes to take the journey, pay for some studio time and take some photographs. Nico gives the man his money and begins with journey through Europe and London. Ladies and gentlemen, Now, ladies and gentlemen, our protagonists have the most difficult part of their journey. They must say goodbye to their friends and family and leave their homes. <laughs>
Denisa and Pepe meet and they shake hands and they walk through the streets of London together. On Regent Street, Pepe and Denisa are amazed. Amazed. In Trafalgar Square, they are excited. In Hyde Park, they are hot and tired. Finally, they arrive at Oxford Street, the address of Goldblum Associates. They see the office building and they see a sign saying that the business has closed. Associates has closed. Brexit responsible says Mr. Goldblum. Pepe is very sad. Indeed. I am. You're more sad than that, Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> Denisa is very angry. She stamps her feet. And she screams! <laughs> Denisa and Pepe are desperate. In post Brexit Britain, if you do not have a job, you cannot get a residence permit. And with no residence permit, you cannot stay in Britain. Denisa and Pepe must go home. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go. Listen, you are very talented. I am very rich. My husband is a record producer, you know. And I want you to work for us. Okay? Yes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Here's our potting contract. There you go. And you will need a ticket for immigration. Okay? Is it all alright? Sounds and conditions? Okay. Here's your time ticket. You have to go to the Department of Immigration before 12 o'clock tonight. Okay? Okay, go! I'm saving my bag. What can I do to show my gratitude? Well, I'm on this business studies. I'm a second to find here. Can we give me that job? Of course I can, Pepe. Look, here's a contract of work. Denisa, do you need a job as well? That's amazing. Do you need a job? Do you speak any languages by any chance? Four. Oh my god, Denisa, I can give you a job too, okay? And you will need a ticket for immigration. There's one for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and one for you. You have to go to the Department of Immigration before 12 o'clock tonight, okay? 